Hi, I'm Florence, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick idea of how we can use the number line to support pupils understanding fractions. Pupils need to understand that a fraction is a number in its own right, and therefore it can be placed on a number line. And using a number line like this is also a really good way to get pupils to consider the relative relationship between different fractions. So in this first example, you might ask pupils to place a quarter and three quarters in the correct places on the number line. And that would really help them to see that a quarter comes halfway between a half and zero. And similarly, three quarters comes halfway between a half and one. We can also use number lines when pupils are counting in fractional steps. So in this example, you might start at zero and ask them to count up in quarters. They add a quarter each time. This is a really nice opportunity for them to see that yes, this is going to be two quarters, but two quarters is also halfway between zero and one. So how else could we express this as a fraction? Getting pupils to really think about their equivalent fractions there, we could also express it as a half. Another important thing to notice is that in this number line, I've made sure we go beyond one so that pupils can then think about one and a quarter, or perhaps five quarters. And then finally, we can use fractions on a number line as a really effective way of exploring percentage and decimal equivalents. So on this fraction line, pupils have been asked to count up in tenths. And you could ask them, how would you express three tenths, two tenths as a decimal or as a fraction? So in this example, we can see we have our de decimal equivalents, but you might want to challenge pupils further and ask them to add in the equivalent percentages. So those are some ways that you can use a number line to help pupils with their understanding of fractions, decimals and percentages.